What's good, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Producer's Life. I'm your man, Big Boy Tracks, as always, and today, man, we're taking it to the third coast. Today, we're gonna cook up that sound of the legendary Pimp C from scratch. I'm sure a lot of you out there know Pimp C was a producer himself, and a lot of records on all the UGK albums, Pimp C played a role in producer, whether it was him by himself or N.O. Joe. Pimp had a hand in everything. Pimp had this really old school, funky sound, man. I've done these UGK slash Pimp C type of beats before on this channel, and most of those were like these kind of slow paced UGK records, but today, I wanna do one of the faster type of UGK beats. And yeah, let's see what happens. Happens with it. So I want you guys to sit back, relax, and hope you all enjoy this beat making video. Let's go. So now we got the drums out the way, let's go ahead and jump into this melody. Now for the melody, I'm gonna keep it really simple. I say simple far as the chord progression. The reason I'm going that route is I wanna make sure this bass line is just really driving this track home. And I mention this a lot in a lot of my beat making videos. If you keep the chord progression pretty simple, you can get pretty creative with the bass line. I feel like you got more room to work when the main foundation far as like the chords are pretty simple. That's the idea. Now I'm not sure if I'm gonna be executed, but we'll see. So right here we got the Roland Super JV1080 put up and I chose a Tremo EP. And this is almost like an FM sounding piano. Something like that. That is very simple. Now with that bass line, I already got some ideas in my head where I want to take this. All right guys, so let's transition right into that bass line as we were just talking about. Now today I will be using Trillium. As you see, I kind of pull it up and this is actually called the Ballad 6, a pretty nice sounding bass. And we're going to kind of just play around with this. And I got an idea for the bass line, what I want to do. that whole piece at the end. All right, I think that's right. I think that's right, y'all. So now let's go ahead and move forward and let's jump to that string section. For the strings, we're using a Roland Super JV 1080 and we're using the bright strings. And uh, we're gonna do a very simple string. So if you guys are familiar with my channel, you should already know what this angle is. We're about to go ahead and add some guitar licks in here. Now, I am not a great guitar player. I'm probably not even an average guitar player. I can do just enough to get by, but that is my goal for this year to become at least a semi-decent guitar player. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically like play some different guitar little licks here and there, some slides and stuff like that to kind of, you know, fatten this up. And also I'm gonna use my guitar wah wah pedal. And uh, obviously you gotta add that funk in here to really have that Pimp C sound to it. So. Let's get to it. Sounds 
sound pretty cool. Then add like some some type of delay and reverb on that. One more time. All right, so with the guitar out the way, let's go ahead and move on. Thinking about adding some type of bell in here. I don't know, I don't want it too bright sounding to where it's just, you know, too high up in the register. So I want it somewhere, you know, in the lower register. I didn't want the typical, you know, very bright, dreamy type of bell. I wanted some more, I, want, I wanted a different tone sounding bell if that makes sense. So I found one right here in the SRX Orchestra. It's called the Water Mallet. this melody I want to go ahead and throw an organ in here really fast and this is gonna be just more like a filler for this organ part now a lot of times when I do like uh, Pimp C records I like to have an organ playing like all the way through the track just because I love organ driven records but this is not gonna be one of them I want the organ just kind of be at the end and this is what I'm simply gonna do that's it and I'm gonna do that towards the end so yeah and if you look at the screen I have contact opened up and this is vintage organs and uh, yeah let's go and lay this down little filler in that track. But last but not least, let's go ahead and add us a vocal in here. Now, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this per se. I think the beat is fine without a chopped and screwed vocal, but I want to go ahead and use one anyway. Now, again, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually keep this, but, but I found a pretty dope one from my man Fat Pat. Legendary screwed up click member. In my opinion, probably one of the best freestylers out there. When he get on there, man, he wrecked almost every track. Super dope, but this one I found. I got it in Serato, and I chopped the pieces that I wanted to use. Man, that's the frog when you're sitting in the leather. Bigger, bigger coming down, fall cone in the weather. Don't worry why. Then I, then I go fly. In my, in my fucking jet fly, I'm in Cali High. Sound pretty dope. Um, I'm gonna have to listen to it again and see if I really want to keep this in there. But like I said, it don't sound bad at all in here. All right, guys. So we're at that point in time where it's trying to get this track arranged, get all the drums tracked out of the NPC X. I love the way this beat sounds so far. Super smooth. But anyway, let's go and hop back into this track so you guys can check out what this finished product is gonna sound like. Let's go. So 
that wraps up today's beat making video. Love the way this beat came out, just the overall sound and everything all together. Sounds super pleasing to the ear. As I said at first, I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep that vocal in there, but man, it sounds pretty good in there to be honest. You guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this beat making video, go ahead and give it a like, give it a thumbs up and do all that good stuff. And if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do. I will be coming back once again this week with another beat making video. I want to thank everybody for watching and kicking it with your man, Big Boy Tracks, right here at the Producers Life. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.